Giant Bubbles. I'm Sandy and today we're going to take a few simple supplies. We're going to make our own bubble wand and have some fun with bubbles. Let's get started. You should have picked up your take and make bag for the Virtual STEM Club Giant Bubbles. And in that bag you're going to find a tin foil pan, a piece of string, and some straws. We did and um, part of your bubble solution. We did give you extra straws just in case you have problems with one of your straws. The only thing you're going to need from home is some water from the tap. Okay, so to get started, we're going to take our length of string, we're going to take one of the straws, and we will Put the string through the end of the straw and just kind of push it through the straw. The string is pretty cooperative and it's going to go through there pretty easily. If it doesn't, if it's giving you a hard time, maybe twist the end so all the threads are together to keep it from spreading out. That might make it go easier. And you can either start the second straw right after that or if you want, you can start it on the other end. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure your threads are together. Stick the string at the end of the straw. Poke it down through there until it comes out the other end. And then once you have two straws on your string, you can take your string and tie a knot. However, it's easiest for you. You can either wrap it around your finger and pull the ends through like this and tighten it and just tighten it. Or if it's easier for you, you can take the ends of the string and tie them like you would a shoelace. Wrap one over and then just wrap them around again. Make a knot and pull it tight and that's going to be our bubble wand. The next step would be to take your solution. You're gonna need some water from your faucet. You'll take the top off of, well, before you take the top off, I want you to just kind of swirl the solution around like this. Don't shake it, because if you shake it, you're gonna make a lot of bubbles, and we don't want that at this point. We don't want bubbles, but there's, dish soap and corn syrup in here and sometimes it might separate. So just kind of swish this around to make sure that they're mixed up together. And then you can take your bottle to the faucet and just add water to the bottom of the neck here. I'm just gonna take a funnel and some water I've already gotten from the faucet and slowly pour it in so I don't make a lot of suds. And if it does start making suds, I'll wait a minute and let that settle down. And then just pour the water until I have the liquid level at the bottom of the neck of the bottle. Then I'm gonna put the cap back on and try to shake it up a little, maybe turn the bottle upside down so that the water incorporates with the dish soap and the corn syrup. And you can kind of see them come together and you can see the color get a little lighter blue. And once you've done that, again, don't shake it real hard because you won't make a lot of foam. But once you've done that, take your pan and pour the whole bottle into your pan. And that will also help mix it up. So pour everything in there, and then you'll take your straw and your string and you'll put it in the pan and make sure the straws and the string are in there. If you have to kind of 
mold your pan so they fit in there, you can do that. And get everything wet. And then when you pull it up, you should see a film clinging to the string and the straw. And then you can either blow that or you can move your wand around and try to get a bubble to come out. Sometimes it might pop and that's okay. So just put it back in the pan, get your, your film and just keep trying until you get a bubble to come out. And if you, I don't know how well you can see the film. Just like playing with bubbles, any other bubble. Sometimes it takes a couple times, but we've got our film. And just keep trying until you get a bubble to come off. And again, you might have to make it easier to bend your pan a little bit. And you can see, I don't know, you can see the film on there. And you can also move it to try to get a bubble to come out. You could try to run with it. I would recommend that you do this outside because there is carol syrup in the mixture, which is sticky when it starts to dry. So I would definitely do this outside. And it might take a few minutes to practice to figure out the right strength to blow your bubbles. I think I'm blowing too hard. Thanks for joining us for Virtual STEM Club Giant Bubbles. I hope you enjoyed this project. It was fun, but a little bit messy, but that's what makes it a great time. We hope you can join us next time. We would also, in the meantime, love to see any video or pictures that you take of yourself doing this project, and you can share them with us at the email address going across the screen. Thanks, have a great time.